Welcome to Blitz Chess number 20. In today's video, I'm going to play a Blitz game. I'm going to walk you through what I think. And your job as a viewer is to think from time to time, maybe, what would I play in this position? Pause the video if it's needed. And yeah, it should be instructive. Let's go. Okay, we're playing against Cedar. Good luck. We're playing with the black pieces. C4, the English opening. We're going to play E6. E4. Oh, what was the name of this? E4 is very well known. I think uh, Knight of 6 is, is there. But I'm going to play D5. Um, normally everything gets traded in the center, but I think, I mean, I like this for, 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 for black. I don't mind, I don't mind sacrificing a pawn with c6 after d takes c9 takes c6. I must have compensation, but today I'm going to play bishop d7, which is a solid approach. Let's say bishop c4. Um, I'm going to play bishop d6. Wait, what? I could also play c6, another version of the, the pawn sacrifice. But I'm going to play bishop d6, castle first, and then and then see what to do. I think I have a rook e8 check. Deep configuring this setup with bishop c4 and knight c3. So white already goes knight g4, but this is a little bit risky, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I'm going to play c6. I think it's a good time to sacrifice the pawn. Uh, white takes it. Maybe castling was better, but bishop takes h2 is something that always white has to calculate. Even now, after castling, bishop takes h2, knight g4. A little bit nervous for I would be a little bit nervous for from White's side of things. I can play Queen A5. Positions are transforming constantly. Very very classic of chess. You have to always be willing to change your your gear. So for instance, uh, here we were playing a little bit more mechanic, like just developing pieces. But now I have to switch my gear. I have, I have I'm playing as if I was in the middle game, right? Because I, I already castled. So I I decide to go for some sort of compensation. And initiative sacrificing a pawn. And after d4, now I'm I'm faced with the question: How do I continue? So I've sacrificed the pawn. I have to play energetically. If not, I'm just going to be down a pawn. So one one way of doing it is rook c8, something that attracts me. Um, I'm wondering if bishop g5 is something that I want to allow because after bishop g5, let's say white were to play again, I play h6, bishop takes f6, queen takes f6, knight e4 might be there. Um. Is bishop g5 a threat? I could also play rook e8, rook in the e file. If castles, bishop takes h2, king takes h2, 9 g4. But then king g1, queen h4, bishop f4 is there. It's no longer working this Greek gift stuff. Um, which is unfortunate, but of course, kind of expected as well. I could play 9 g4, if h3, 9 takes f2, queen h4. That doesn't work. That doesn't seem to work, at least. Rook e8, castles, let's see, 9 g4 there. Rather than bishop takes h2. I could also play queen c7. Okay, I'm going to play a6. Useful move, preventing knight b5. If castles, I'm going to play queen c7. If I provoke some h3, g3 stuff, it's going to be easier for me to, to sacrifice a piece the, the, over there later. I'm going to play queen c7 either way. Hinting on, 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 on queen takes c4. I'm not sure if h3 is the good order, a, a good uh, move order to get this position, but definitely not. Not losing right away, so maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't be so critical on it. Bishop d3 is difficult for me to know now how to continue the attack. I want to create threats, but it's not easy. White is going to castle. That's the kind of a threat, but that's what white is going to do and claim that the pawn is just a pawn. What do I do? How do I find more? I play queen a5, actually. Something I could have done before, but d5 was there. I'm going to transport my queen to the h5 square. White could play something like knight g3 or knight f4, now that I think about it. But I think I'm already forcing white to play these sort of moves. And I see that as a little bit of a win. Although, once again, yeah, actually knight f4, queen takes d1, followed by knight takes d4. That's not very clear. Uh, bishop takes h7, what's going on there? Knight f4, I can always include something like queen h4, g3, and then something like queen h6. Once again, very sharp. I'm getting on the way of this. Interesting. So I could take rook takes, knight takes d4. Probably my opponent is going to sacrifice. King takes, rook mm. takes. I have the bishop pair there. I think I should go for that. Hopefully I'm not missing something else. Also, well, white could, white could just move the, the queen away. Running out of time. Not ideal. I think I'm going to have to move the queen back, unfortunately. Maybe queen c7 back. That would be funny. 
Maybe we, I need a rook on, on e8 or on d8 before I, di I did that kind of thing. So, probably a mistake by me. I'm gonna have to go back, which is something that ma many times people struggle to do. Uh, to accept that they've made a mistake, and it's it's one of those things where mistakes don't come... Uh, mistakes come in pairs, so it's more it's easier to make two mistakes in a row rather than one mistake and move three and one mistake and move uh, 25, let's say. I'm gonna play b5, claiming that there's some sort of counterplay there. Play rook a d8. In the future, I think it's good to have something on d, because there's a pawn on d5. Um, we're both running out of time. I'm gonna put something on c4. If bishop takes e4, queen takes e4, I don't see a real way for white to make the most of the pin. Not a4 is there, but queen a2 makes things complicated. And, or queen e4, actually. And all of a sudden, I have the bishop here. I think bishop takes c4 may have been a mistake by white. Okay. I can play many things here. I'm going to take on here. Bishop f5. Maybe not the best. If this, I can play bishop e5. Okay, okay. I'm going to play with knight e4. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm... I regret playing like this. I don't like the way I played. I'm trading pieces and I, I, I had some counterplay with, with my piece play, so I definitely misplay this a little bit. Rook a8 is there. Maybe I can get some play over there. Okay, this one I missed. That's bad news. But we got this endgame, which hopefully I can hold with with the with the different color bishops that increases my chances of a draw and given that i'm down material that would be a draw would be pretty nice <laughs> okay i'm gonna trade pawns pawns trading pawns should also increase my chances of drawing if rookie one i take and i play knight takes d5 i think that's pretty safe although there are some lines where bishop d4 is a little bit worrying given that i have holes on my and my king side not out of the question to say that. Uh... Oh wait, bad move that one. Very bad move. Now I have to go back. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad move. Okay, let's try King G8. My opponent is doing a good job at making me uncomfortable. In the good way, of course. There's a funny line. Don't know if it works. D6, knight d7, knight d5. Uh, knight takes e5, knight takes b6, knight takes f3. Blah, 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 but I think I'm losing there. Okay. I'm going to play rook c6. King f8. Not blundering this. Hmm. Holding. Holding. Somehow holding. f6, bishop f7. If this, if this, then that. This should be three check. Always good to throw a check. Throw in a check. Wait, what? Is this working? Don't think so. Everything is decided by calculation now, I think. A d7 may be working. But now it's not working, actually. Rook d6. And this is game over. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah. We should not relax still. Okay, let's play rook takes d7. I think this is the clearest. Now I trade everything. This should be winning. Even though white has two pawns. I should be able to... To neutralize both of them. Let's play king f6. Let's entice him to move one of them forward. Actually, I did this in the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, I did this in the wrong way. I gave him chances now. Okay. Let's re... Let's rewind. Actually, this is not clear anymore. Okay, now it's clear. I think now it's reasonably clear. Wait, what? This is not clear. <laughs> Wait, king e6, bishop b3. My goodness. 
Okay, let's play bishop b3 either way. Oh no. One of those, huh? Actually, no, this is winning. This is winning. Bishop a4. Okay. I think my opponent had a draw there. Very poor technique by me. I, should, I, w I had to find a, a more precise way of stopping the pawns when, when they were both over here. Good game, by the way. Um, I think I had to find a more precise way of doing this. Maybe maybe bishop a a2. If f, then I play something like king e5. Yeah. And if king f4, I always have bishop b1 from far away. Once the pawns get to this, like these squares, all of a sudden the king is getting very active. Very poor conversion by me, but still, I hope I hope it was a, an instructive game. Uh, I was I was feeling the heat for most of that game, but um, I think we had a good position out of the opening, which is something worth worth considering and, 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 and being happy about. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments about this game, if you if you have any suggestions in general, if you're enjoying the videos, please let me know. And as always, have a nice day.